Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Herbs have been used as medicinal treatments since the very beginning of the civilization and valued for their cooking and healing properties. Yes, it is. But this magic herb is amazingly handy in energizing every tiny cell in your body and it's also reducing the risk of heart disease. Sounds crazy, right? Yes. Today, we are going to talk about the magic herb called Moringa and show you how to consume Moringa in a right way for keeping better heart health. Actually, Moringa powder is called as a powerhouse of herbal supplement that is packed with vitamins, antioxidants, protein, and minerals. This is a proper plant-based solution that includes antifungal, antiviral, antidepressant, and anti-inflammatory properties. Let's see how Moringa keeps your heart safe and later we will watch how to consume Moringa in a right and different way. Actually, in terms of nutrition, Moringa is very compact. It plays a vital role to help keep heart health in right track. A very recent study has shown that 8 grams of daily Moringa intake can reduce LDL by 29% over 40 days. Thus, it lowers the possible risk of developing heart diseases. It is also well known that low blood oxygen levels are a major risk factor that contributes to heart disease. Apart from that, the presence of iron in Moringa helps facilitate the production of hemoglobin, which plays a very heart-supportive role and contributes to higher blood oxygen levels. Moreover, a number of bioactive compounds available in the extracts of Moringa leaves have been shown to stabilize blood pressure levels, which harmoniously correspond with protection against heart disease. According to studies, heart disease is the leading cause of death in U.S. and Canada. Moringa, according to health experts, is considered as a substantial medicinal property that will keep heart disease away. How to Consume Moringa if you want to get the best health benefit out of Moringa, you must know certain procedures. It is said that to avoid digestive complications, you should take to one teaspoon per day, or you can start with half teaspoon and increase it gradually. Let's dive into the methods to consume Moringa in a healthy way. Method number one. You just need to place the Moringa powder under your tongue. After that, Take a gulp of water and consume the powder along with the water and make sure that you take the last bits of Moringa in your mouth. It will help your body to absorb it more quickly. According to health experts, the powder has a mild flavor so it might give you an earthy taste. But don't try to breathe in the powder. Method number two. First of all, you can add Moringa powder or leaves to your daily tea. The leaf powder was regarded safe in recent studies. Take one teaspoon, six grams, of Moringa powder into a cup of cold or lukewarm water, 235 milliliters. Stir the powder until it mostly dissolves. Make sure that all the powder successfully dissolves into the water. Now take a tea bag and put this tea bag into the cup of Moringa powder water for a while. Now drink this amazing tea. If you don't stand the taste of Moringa, you can add a little bit of honey and lemon. You should not heat Moringa too much while making tea because it can break down many of the antioxidants in it. Method number three. In this method, you can blend one teaspoon Moringa into your favorite smoothie. Before blending the ingredients all together, sprinkle the exact amount of Moringa powder over the ingredients. Or you can also stir the powder in a prepared smoothie. Using Moringa in your favorite smoothie will lower the harsh taste of it. On the other hand, you can also sprinkle Moringa powder over salad and other raw foods, but avoid cooking it. In addition, Moringa can have laxative effects in large quantities, so a safe dose to introduce it into your food or diet. Let's start with benefits. First of all, Moringa powder helps to get a complete protein for a vegetarian diet. The leaves, fruits, and seeds might be safe when eaten as food. Moringa powder can help manage symptoms of diabetes. Moringa powder reduces inflammation from asthma and arthritis. 
It is considered safe if Moringa is taken in doses up to 8 grams, one teaspoon daily for up to three weeks. Some precautions about Moringa If you experience gastrointestinal distress, stop using Moringa powder. You must avoid roots and extracts of Moringa because it might contain a toxic substance that can eventually lead to paralysis and death. Special Warnings for Women It is discouraged to use the roots and bark of Moringa flowers as it is likely unsafe for pregnant women. Chemicals in the root, bark, and flowers can make the uterus contract, and this might eventually cause a miscarriage. So it would definitely be a smart move not to take Moringa during pregnancy. Moringa is sometimes used to increase breast milk production, though there is no substantial proof behind this claim as some researchers suggest it might do this. Accordingly, you are discouraged to take Moringa during breastfeeding too. Lastly, I hope you will try Moringa every day. For further health condition, I recommend you should speak to your doctor before taking this. For more queries, I have also added some proofs at the end of this video description. So if you liked my video, please let me know in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on and don't forget to like, comment and share. Stay healthy, stay fine.